Okay, if Martin Freeman either had Gandalf or Black Panther with him during the zombie apocalypse, I think he would have survived much, much better. I'm just saying. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Cargo. So Cargo stars Martin Freeman, and what this film is basically about, it's, you know, basically the zombie apocalypse is happening. And, unfortunately, Martin Freeman's character gets bit. So now he's trying to find someone that is willing enough to take care of his daughter before, you know, he turns. And basically, that's what the film is about. So, what did I think of Cargo? Now, going into Cargo, I didn't have too much expectations. I did see the trailer because I was on a movie preview with uh, my good buddy Kevin Falk, and this was like one of the movies in that uh, movie preview, so I had to check out the trailer for it beforehand. I thought it looked neat. I thought it looked interesting. Definitely a very different zombie movie from, you know, uh, most zombie films we get. So, I was interested to see where this could go, and I quite liked it a lot, actually. I really liked uh, Cargo. Cargo was a very interesting movie, to say the least. I did really enjoy this movie. Like I expected, it is very different from a lot of the zombie films that we're known for seeing, honestly, really. Like, this is very, very different. This isn't as action-heavy isn't really, you know, uh, you know, let's blow as many zombies as we can, you know, it's not really that, it's much more of a character study, honestly, like, much more of a character film, to be honest with you, and I quite liked that a lot, honestly, it was very different from a lot of zombie films that we've seen before, and I actually like that they took a much different direction with this, and I thought they did a very good job with it. So let's get into my positives with the film, but my positives are, first being, the acting. Um, I thought the acting was really good in the movie. Martin Freeman is really fantastic, honestly. I think Martin Freeman gives a really fantastic performance in this film. I quite liked him a lot in this movie. He was really great, honestly. I quite liked Martin Freeman a lot in this film. He made me really care for his character, you know, because he's bit, and now he needs to try and find someone to take care of his daughter because obviously he can't do it now. And, you know, I really thought he was great in this movie. I thought he did a really fantastic job, in my opinion. And I quite liked him a lot in this film. I thought he was really fantastic. And the rest of the acting is really good, too, in the movie as well. I thought everyone did a pretty solid job in the film. Like I said, this is a much more of a character-driven film. It's much more of a character study. I'm really focusing on Martin Freeman, this little girl that he meets... Like, it's really great, honestly. I really like that a lot. Like, it really focuses on characters more or less than, say, zombie action or whatever. This more or less focuses more on characters, and I like that a lot about this movie. And really just following these characters and seeing, you know, what is happening with them during the zombie apocalypse and stuff like that. And I quite like that a lot about this movie, honestly. So, I gotta give the uh, filmmakers huge credits on that for... And I'll make it much more of a character-driven film. And, you know, a zombie apocalypse, you know, movie where usually it's just action, action, action. But taking a much more di different direction with it, I quite liked it a lot. But there is some scenes, I wouldn't necessarily say they're really action scenes per se, but there is scenes that do have tension to them and stuff like that. And I thought they were really good. And I was, you know... In the, uh, you know, in the mode, I was, you know, like, oh, God, where's this gonna go and stuff like that. There were some scenes like that. I thought they did a pretty good job with it. Some unexpected, really emotional moments, honestly, that I didn't expect and to be so wound up in. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I was like, wow, this is actually really emotional. I'm really getting, in, like, invested into this. And, you know, I didn't really expect that, honestly. And, honestly, I thought those moments were really good and really well handled, in my opinion. And they were really great, honestly. I quite like them a lot. Uh, the music is really good, too. I actually really like the main score that they have with this film, honestly. 
Uh, I thought it really fit the movie and really fit the tone with the film a lot. And I thought the music, honestly, was really cool with the film. I thought it fit with the movie. Uh, the writing is really good, too. I thought the writing was pretty solid with the film, to be honest. The writing was really good with this movie. had some pretty good dialogue to it. The directing is really fantastic with this movie. I really do love the directing with the film. Uh, it's very well shot. Editing is really good with the movie. And, you know, the cinematography is pretty solid, in my opinion. So, I will say the directing overall was really good, in my opinion. I really thought, you know, it was very very well handled with its directing. And lastly, I thought for the most part the movie moved at a nice pace. To be honest, the movie's an hour and 44 minutes. And it did move at a nice pace, honestly. Like, I felt like, you know, it did move at a nice natural pace in my opinion. And I was quite invested in for a good majority of the film. Now, there is some negatives that I do have with the film. And those negatives are, first being, I felt like the movie kind of repeats itself a little bit too much at times. Like, it kind of falls into repetitiveness. Like, falls into a certain circle. Like, oh, like, you know, it kind of repeats itself a little bit. Which, I was kind of like, eh. You know, I didn't really, you know, think it kind of, like, it kind of repeated itself a little bit, in my opinion, during the film. I was just kind of like, okay, like, can we can, can, can we kind of stop repeating ourselves a little bit, you know, here and... I felt like they could have just done a better job, a little bit of that, of just not repeating itself a little bit too much. I just felt like the movie was repeating a little bit. Um, I felt like it kind of got a little bit slow at times. I will admit the movie does um, suffer some from some pacing issues a little bit. There are some times where it did get a little bit slow. I know some people said the first 20 minutes weren't that invested. I was actually quite invested in the first 20 minutes, but there are some moments where it can get a little bit slow in my opinion. And I do feel it dragging just a little bit. And lastly, I feel like the movie does have a bit of predictable moments. There are some times where I felt like, okay, it's going to go this way and whatever. And there are some times where I was like, oh, okay, it did go that way. You know what I mean? And there was a little bit of predictable moments here and there, in my opinion. But overall, I liked Cargo a lot. I think Cargo was a very solid film from Netflix. Yeah, this was made by Netflix. So, gee, they made a good movie for once. And I felt like this was a really different take from the zo zombie genre, in my opinion, and was really invested, honestly. I really liked this movie a lot. So it's time for my official grade on Cargo, and my official grade on Cargo is a B+. Very good movie. I really liked this a lot. was very surprised by it, and surprised of how you know, different it was from a lot of zombie films being much more of a character-driven movie instead of, you know, like I said, let's just blow as many zombies as we can. It was very different, and I liked that a lot, honestly, and I quite liked Cargo a lot. I would definitely recommend you all check it out. Like I said, it's right on Netflix, and you should definitely go out and see it. So, yeah, Cargo gets a B+. Plus. So, if you have seen Cargo, what did you think of it? Please leave in the comment section below. And I'm Film Fan 599 and we will see you all later. Peace.